So I get five o'clock all the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm okay. <clears throat> so you ready to go? I'm ready if you're ready. I think so. Yep. Yep. Okay. Good evening, everyone. This is the Culver Redevelopment Day. It is January 10th, 2021. It's 5 p.m. And this is our rescheduled regular meeting. We are operating under the executive order of the governor of Indiana. And so um, the, there are members both present and possibly remote, and the public is, is here remotely. This meeting is being recorded. If you participate in the meeting, that is your consent to be recorded, and also to have that recording rebroadcast as the, minutes, the, the recording is posted on the town website. So, with that being said, I would ask. Um, Paul, as the secretary, could you please take the roll? Sir, uh, Mr. West, present. Mr. Tart, present. Mr. Benedictus, present. Ms. Schumann, Catherine Schumann, Ms. McIntyre, <coughs> present. And you are present. Okay, thank you. Um, the meeting this evening is a brief um, version of our regular agenda. The council had asked that we only consider items that were either an emergency or time limit. Um, so on the agenda this evening, the first item we have are the approval of the minutes. We had two sessions on December 21st, a regularly scheduled meeting and an executive session. Those minutes were circulated. Um, can I entertain Either a motion to amend them or a motion to approve those minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I will second. Okay, so we have a motion that's been made to approve both sets of minutes from December 21st um, by Sally and seconded by Tom. Paul, could you please take the roll? Certainly. Uh, Mr. West? Aye. Mr. Charity? Aye. Mr. Benedictus? Aye. Ms. McIntyre? Aye. Mr. Uhas? Yes, aye. All of us. Okay, thank you. So and just made mention that the reason we're not doing it, we, it's abbreviated because they have not selected. Yes, yeah, the council has not made their appointments for this year according to the rules. Existing members are um, still um, serving legitimately until the reappointments are made, but because there was there were a lot of new things on the agenda, um, the council has thought best that. We defer those presentations from um, the EDC and from the visitor center and some other things until new council members are present. So that and, the, and the CR and the council is going to be is planning to select their CRC members uh, tomorrow. It's on the agenda for tomorrow. Okay. And with the, uh, I mean, it's on the agenda for tomorrow. Um, moving on to the next financial reports, Karen had presented a list of claims. Um, has everyone had a chance to review those? I have one question. Go ahead, Tom. Um, Karen, just to refresh my memory, the, the, when will the bond on the TIF 2 expire? If you know that off the top of your head or in your computer. You can give me two minutes. Okay. I, you know what? I meant to bring that because I know that we're getting close. <laughs> you are close. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions on the claims? If not, I'd entertain a motion to approve the claims as presented. I'll make a motion to approve the claims as presented. Okay. We have a second for that motion. Second. Right. So the motion to approve the claims as presented um, has been made by Paul and seconded by Sally. Paul, could you please take the roll? Certainly. Mr. Uhoffs. Aye. Ms. McIntyre. Aye. Mr. Benedictus, aye. Mr. Charty, aye. Mr. West, aye. All eyes. So the claims are approved. Um, Karen, yes. Yes. Um, so the that's the bond for the stormwater. No, stormwater is great. Okay. Yes. When that expires, 
there's other there's going to be some years of right? Yeah, not on that bond. That's for the bond payment. Right. That one's paid off. Yeah. So some of the some of the, the life of the TIF district is by statute either you know, by 25 years or whatever whenever it was founded, it's different by yeah. by this. I think if we reference back to that um the presentation that um the figure of Chile has done for us on the other tax agreement that mentions what the expiration dates are on those steps. Um, I think it's a little bit further. Or at least. Yes. Yeah, so it's good to say there's. It's been a while since I was there. Uh, if it's not in that sheet, I know we have a document that shows when each one ends, and it's it's my statute, which is 25 years. Uh, and one guess it would be extensible beyond 2025. Yeah. And it wouldn't be um, because of the other time, some other time, it would not be several years beyond that, it would be so much bond and expiration date for maturity date. Okay, I think that does it for what we have on the agenda. Um, so, um, motion to adjourn. I will motion to adjourn. Actually, this is Sue. I have something I need to say before we adjourn, please. Um, <clears throat> since I've been accused of an ethical or illegal behavior while being on the CRC, I think I deserve a comment. I've never in all my years on any boards in Culver, including the CRC, done anything that's unethical or illegal. In fact, I've been assured by the members of these boards that the reason I was asked to serve is because of my reputation of honesty and forthrightness. The lies that were purported are based on opinions of one person who is making assumptions. My only interest is doing what I believe is best for the businesses, town, and residents. So to have a person spread lies about my work has been extremely disheartening. And for the record, I've chosen not to submit my name for the CRC for 2021 for three reasons. One, I've been on for four years and I want to give someone else a chance to participate, to get new ideas. Two, my business is going through big changes and would take a lot of my time. And three, I have no wish to spend any more time defending myself against those who choose to be ill-informed bullies. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. Um, there's a motion that was made by Tom to adjourn the meeting, I believe. Is there a second for that motion? I second that. Okay, the motion has been made by Tom and seconded by Sue to adjourn. Um, Paul? Mr. West? Aye. Mr. Charty? Aye. Mr. Benedictus? Aye. Uh, Ms. McIntyre? Aye. Mr. Uhoffs? Aye. The meeting is still adjourned. Thank you. Our next meeting, the regularly scheduled meeting of the Redevelopment Commission, will be the 15th of February on 5 p.m. Um, at this point, it, it, we will continue to have remote meetings, whether it's the Commission itself will meet here at the Beach Lodge or at the Town Council. Changes will be determined um, in the coming weeks and we'll announce that. So we are adjourned. Thank you all. So two minutes box, we'll have to do that.